Whatever it is, wherever it is, north, south, east, or west, we'll find it. You'll see it here. You ask for it. Brought to you by Vox. Have you ever been in a gig and your aunt died? I have. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It it can happen because it's electronic. And you know, it's, some of us are lucky enough to bring you know identical rigs and things like that, and the whole road crew to move it in and unplug and plug whatever needs to go back mm -hmm. in whenever something does fail. But not all of us have that advantage or that kind of money. Um, so we thought what would be an interesting, best cheapest. Best cheapest backup amp. Yeah. Um, we have this. <laughs> this is the Vox AC30 <laughs> amp plug. We're actually using the original version right. today. Because um, you can even get that cheaper used. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for, for free if you find one. Um, but there's now the amp plug 2, which uh, extends on this and adds in things like digital delays. Yeah. Some of the models have chorus and things like that. Um, but it's really cool because it's battery powered. This thing will fit in your pocket. It's got a line output, which is what we're going to actually use. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we're going to be recording with it today, just straight line out, because obviously you can't mic up a speaker that doesn't exist. Right. Um, or headphones that just not going to work. Yeah. But in a pinch, take a balanced signal out, uh, TRS to like XLR or TRS to, X to TRS yeah. into a board. And you could actually get through a gig with one of these uh, if you're a sound guy or if you are your sound guy knows how to hook things up and route it properly. Um, it works. Yep. Um, I'm actually surprised at some of the sounds we've gotten. Out of this thing. <laughs> it actually sounds pretty good. Because I had real high expectations. Oh, definitely. Uh, something that's literally the size of the wireless transmitter that I use. Yes, and um, under $50. And under $50. So uh, it, this is pretty cool. We thought we'd see also, too, while we were at it, does this thing make a good pedal platform? Because Yeah, like if you're at a gig and things go down, you got your pedal board rig ready to go, can you plug this thing in and be okay? Because I've got a lot of amps that are loud and they're gig worthy, but... Do they take pedals, Bill? Not necessarily. No. Um, so they tend to sound better by themselves. So you'd be kind of, you know, out of luck there. But um, so far, what we're getting, um, it's not bad. Um, we are uh, we're using the, uh, the, uh, the the kind of a cleaner setting mm -hmm. here because yep. we are using pedals. So there's no need to drive it too bad. Um, and Rick's got his excellent pedal selection here. Um, what is on right now? We got the carbon copy. Yep. Deluxe. Going. Deluxe and the Hall of Fame. And then I, uh, we just analog man compressor. So we got a compressor, which mm -hmm. I do love having, and it would probably help out a lot uh, in this setting too, just because it's going to add to things like sustain that a, a typical amplifier that's not reacting to a speaker would need. Yeah. Uh, and also too, it'll kind of clean up all those extreme uh, frequency peaks of highs and lows that might otherwise ruin. Uh, the normally yeah. good sounding uh, the direct sound which we kind of noticed when we were running that through the Bose system the other day yeah it was a little woofy mm -hmm. in certain spots and of course with no post EQ it's, it's it would be impossible to clean up but yeah, in this context it's actually working pretty well so um, I think you may have heard at the beginning but some of this sounds pretty cool the Not bad for for noodling around. Clean clean tones, good. Getting a tuner on. <laughs> yeah. Um. Not bad, and uh, from what we can hear in here, we're actually monitoring this right now through laptop speakers. Oh, so it sounds killer. So, you know, it sounds amazing to yeah, us right yeah. now. So we'll hear what it sounds like. 
from what I can hear, I mean, this is this this is gonna be fine to practice. Really throw some gain on there. Yeah, why not? Right, so I'm gonna do the uh, router 808. Timmy on top. There's those mids. Nice. That sounded good. Not bad for what it is. <laughs> I think I think in a pinch it's it'll get you this through. This will get you through gigs. Yeah. I'll turn that off. Yeah, we had one more drop pedal. Too. Yeah, I got. Let's kind of. Let's let's go it. full more here. So yeah. if you're like me and you're a mad scientist with gain, uh, this is all three of the gain pedals stacked up. So let's see how this thing holds. Up. I mean, it sounded a little spiky through the uh, through the speakers yeah. that we're hearing here, but I mean, what'd you expect? But we'll see how it ends up once it actually. We'll hear how it. Yeah, and comes I won't. Through. I'm not going to do any post EQ to it. What 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 we get right now is what you're going to hear on the video. Which is normal for us, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's all we, we always do that. In case we've never spelt that out, we don't alter our sounds because what would be the point? Right. <laughs> we can always clean them up post. We want to get you the raw sound possible. So exactly. Not too bad though. I just think it's crazy that you could seriously plug a less than fifty dollar headphone amplifier into here, run it into a PA at a, at a club, and be okay. I think the next test would be to plug it through a full on PA system. That would, yeah. I did through a tower, and this was okay, but it'd be pretty interesting to go into maybe a board first, where you could maybe even dial in your EQ to match up mm -hmm. for the, you know, in, oh, yeah, yeah. In, 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 you know, inconsistencies. And then also blast it through a couple thousand watt system just to see how it did. Because yeah. uh, I mean, from right here, you got Fractal Kemper Fox AC plug. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> leave, uh, leave, leave your looper boards, leave your yep. your head rush, leave them at home. You're good. You can fit this thing in your back pocket, just don't sit down. Yeah, yeah, because it's made of plastic. Because it'll crush. Yeah, but hey, I mean. There you have it. Best, cheapest backup amplifier, the Vox AC amp plug. It's nice. So, I'm Rick. I'm Joe. Hang on. If you do YouTube videos to a click track, it just ruins the feel. <laughs> you know?